this video is a comprehensive guide on MetaMask, which is this little fox thing over here. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to set it up, how to use it with a few common applications like my Ether wallet, and some really important safety tips as well, because nothing sucks more than getting your account hacked and all your cryptocurrencies stolen. To start off, you want to visit metamask.io and make sure you have one of these browsers. So either Chrome, Firefox, Opera, or the Brave browser. So I can just click the get Chrome extension here. And what's going to load up here is the add to Chrome button. You're going to see that here. And just by clicking it and adding extension, you're going to see that little happy fox face appear there. Boom. Get the little happy fox face and it's ready to get started. Now, your interface might look slightly different from here, from this, depending on how you and when you install. But it's important to remember that the key safety tips are always the same. So we're going to start off by creating a new wallet. So click, click a new wallet. And you're going to agree with some stuff. When it comes to creating a new password, make sure this password is secure, meaning that it's not a very easy to guess phrase, like maybe your birthday or maybe a single word. Make sure it's kind of a combination of letters and numbers that's kind of hard to guess. Now, this next part is really important because it's about backing up your wallet. So you're going to write down these 12 words. So one thing that's really tempting to do right now is to copy and paste this into Notepad. This is absolutely not recommended. What's important to remember is this 12 word phrase will give anyone complete access to that cryptocurrency account. The standard recommendation here is to use pen and paper. This is because hackers just can't reach pen and paper unless someone takes a photo of it. Now that I've written it down on my notebook, I need to keep this notebook safe as well because if anything happens to my computer and I need to restore it, or if I change computers, this is very necessary. So next here in MetaMask, it's going to ask me to confirm my secret backup phrase. So I'm going to use what I've written down here to just find the correct order. All right, now the phrase is in order. I'm pretty much all set up and ready to use. And congratulations, you've done the hardest part of this whole tutorial, which is set it up. Now, you can also rest assured because you did it properly. You got a wallet that is Ethereum wallet that's safer than a lot of people out there. We've seen a lot of hacks relating to poor key generation and tens of thousands of dollars are getting lost like that. And you did it the correct way, so you won't lose it. Now, for the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to receive and send Ethereum on MetaMask and also how to interact with smart contracts as well. This tutorial kind of leads up to hire more advanced stuff that's coming onto this channel, like creating your own ERC-20 token. That's right, you can create your own ICO, and I'm going to put up a guide on how to do this, and you can see how easy it is to use and create your own token, which is pretty darn awesome. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more content like that. And lastly, what we're going to cover on the tutorial is some treading, troubleshooting as well. So sometimes, unfortunately, there are a few bugs that are pretty common with MetaMask, and I'll show you some tricks around that as well. Now, you can click the deposit button to deposit some Ethereum. So just click that, view your account, and you can have your familiar account, which always begins with 0x. That's how Ethereum addresses work. Now, I already have some Ethereum on my engine wallet over here, so I'm going to send myself some to test it out. Now, the easy way to do it is just to scan this QR code, bloop, like that going to send me 0.1 Ethereum right here. All right, now that it's done, I have my 0.1 Ethereum. I received it. And you can also check how much Ethereum you got by clicking the little fox face. So you can see 0.1 Ethereum, roughly it's worth 15 US dollars. And if I ever need to send any Ethereum back out, I can click the little fox button, send, and then paste the address here. Send how much I want to send, let's say 0.1. 0.5 Ethereum, click Next, and then we're confirmed and good to go. So just now, one second ago, this transaction has been confirmed. And Ether Scan actually pumps up a um, notification too. So just let me go over here. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little notification you'll get on your computer.
So a question I get asked a lot is, when do I use MetaMask? And when do you use something like this, one of these hardware wallets like the Ledger Nano X or the Trezor? The easy answer for that is you use MetaMask for small daily transactions. So what I usually do is I keep less than $100 US dollars worth of Ethereum on MetaMask because it's less secure. It doesn't have all the secure features of one of these wallets where there's a secure element there to keep your private keys safe and away from hackers. Next up, I'm gonna show you some kind of advanced stuff as well, which is to use MetaMask with a popular program called My Ether Wallet. The reason why you use My Ether Wallet is because you have additional functionality that you can interact with other smart contracts and even buy your own CryptoKitty as well. So I'll just show you that very quickly right now. First, you gotta load up My Ether Wallet and I'll put down a link below. Make sure you spell it correctly. There's been a few fake websites that scam you and try to steal your cryptocurrencies with it. So just make sure it's the right address. Now click access my wallet and click MetaMask. So here there's sometimes a little bit of issue. So what you wanna see is you wanna see this little window pop up right here. So sometimes occasionally it doesn't pop up, in which case you wanna close your browser and then start again. But anyways, here it worked well for me. Click connect and you're good to go. Now that you're in the My Ether wallet interface, you can normally just send cryptocurrencies like this. You can also interact with dApps, for example, run or access your own domain or interact with other contracts. So I won't, I won't discuss that in this video because it's a little bit more advanced and I wanna make another video on top. And there we're actually gonna learn how to touch and access some smart contracts that you program as well. So this is really, really cool stuff, just getting to know how Ethereum works at a very kind of base level. And it's super easy. And these are all coming in my future videos. And I'll put a link here once they're up. And before we go as well, I want to show you guys a common bug as well. So for example, if you're you know on the line and interacting with an Ethereum dApp, sometimes you're going to be faced with this problem over here, which is says your MetaMask is locked. Simply open MetaMask and follow the instructions to unlock it. Now, sadly, if you open your MetaMask, nothing will show up. So the easy way to fix this is you want to click on this little icon here. So this little orb, I know it's not very obvious, but click the little orb, go to settings, go to security and privacy and disable privacy mode. So the moment you disable that, your application or dApp will function. So <laughs> I don't know why it's so hidden up there, but that's usually the solution to your problems if you disable privacy mode.